what's happened more last night actually, as I just kind of applied for this personal Tesla supercomputer and uh, I didn't expect to win at all and then I get the call at 8.30 and it's like, so hi, you, you've just won this, this isn't a joke. And it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what I'll be doing with it and what my lab will be doing with it, uh, we'll, we're gonna start doing stream, pro we do stream processing already on uh, network logs and traffic analysis and just trying to get protocol analysis working. And so we're probably gonna start porting some of that to CUDA now that we have a platform that we can do it on. Getting this is kind of a good thing for us. And um, with our bioinformatics research, we work with the Laureate Institute of Brain Technology and or Brain Sciences, I think it is. So on the fMRI processing on that, we'll just do start, we'll start porting uh, code to that and like move on and try and get some of the the voxels and time time based dilation of that. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I mean the the fantastic thing about this is we're gonna have to start reorganizing our lab architecture because we only have well we have we have Gig E but we don't have any real big storage for this to process. I mean it'll probably our our, our file server this thing could probably crunch through in about five seconds. <laughs> I've done some 3D pixel shader technology, or some, 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 some shader programming, but for the most part, my background's in C. Um, we, the university is a Java school, so that, that's their main big focus, but the lab we work in, we decided that Java is maybe not the best choice for what we do, because we work a lot in the Linux kernel, and so of course that's written in C, so we all have to learn C, and we also do a lot of Python stuff, and we noticed that there's some CUDA stuff that you can go to Python with, so we're gonna start playing around with that.